I hate packing. What? <laughs> so, um, this video is gonna be about our travel tips for when you are traveling for a long amount of time. So, backstory, we're both gonna be going to Asia. Besties in Asia! Yeah, hey. we're, gonna, we're yeah. about to be going. Hi. When this video is up, she, she'd have already been there and I'm probably gonna be in the plane or this is probably gonna be going up bef like a few days before I leave. But I'm leaving um, <laughs> to go to five different countries, as you know. Uh, Singapore, Hong Kong, Taiwan, um, Thailand, and the Philippines. And she's going to... The Philippines! That's it. The homeland. <laughs> um, yeah, so in lieu of our trips, we, we kind of want to talk about what our tips are for packing. And we know that it's usually a really arduous and daunting task because you want to bring everything with you but you really can't and especially for international flights you're only limited to I think 245 <clears throat> pound um, check-in luggage. The biggest kind of tip that in general is to kind of limit the stuff that you bring and try to condense as much as you can so the first thing that I have um, I mentioned it in my Daiso haul are these little um, mini containers and these are actually pretty good for um, eye gels, creams, um, face wash. Face wash. <laughs> <laughs> she said face wash. Okay, mind you, she's about to be there for a month and I'm gonna be in Asia for 23 days. I'm gonna put all my face wash in this little I container. Was just, I was just listing products, okay? Okay. It just slipped my mind. So, so maybe... Maybe for a midget. Okay. <laughs> Baby face, son. <laughs> a little baby face, son. <laughs> we love, we love. Oh my god. Little, so little, little people. Um, we do, we do. No discrimination here. None. She kicked one in the <laughs> no, Halloween no, carnival. No, no, whatever. Okay. Okay. Backstory. She actually, when we went to a haunted house, a little little person that was dressed up went after her, and she kicked him. No, he wasn't even part of it. <laughs> He wasn't part of it. He wasn't. He was just with his family. And, and <laughs> that makes it worse. And then, like, I got scared because everything scares me, you know. Halloween, just worst day ever. And then, so he was just walking, and I got scared because, you know, just like this little guy just coming at me, and I was like, ah, and he kicked him. And then he I wasn't bad. part of the. the no. The, oh my gosh. But, anyways, yeah. sorry. That was out of tangent, but any, um, so these little containers, you can probably put, like, um, eye creams, gels, um, things that will fit in here. It's better than taking, like, if you had, I mean, for example, maybe tinted tint moisturizer if you're staying for, like, a few days. Mm -hmm. Like, this is a lot bigger than this, and if you're probably, this probably won't work for me because I'm going to be gone for 23 days, but, um, eye gels for sure. Or you can just buy more of those, too. Cause, I mean, yeah. yeah. So these are um, from Daiso. I got them for like a dollar fifty. There are actually a lot of items in Daiso that um, are really great for um, traveling and condensing things. Cause it's a Japanese brand, and I, for me, the Japanese are really well known for like small things, and this would be great. <laughs> that sounded bad. Anyways, this is um, the my first tip. So this is my tip. For all the ladies and guys who wear accessories, um, you know you have that problem when you bring a lot of accessories when you travel or just in general and it gets knotted and stuff, yeah, it gets annoying, right? So what I do is I take a Ziploc baggie, put my necklace in there, and then just put in your luggage and I end up taking like five or six of these, but it works. Oh, but, I hate that. Yeah, I know. I have, I, I'm probably going to bring like three or four different necklaces and I was thinking about putting them in one container but yeah. putting them in separate bags totally makes yeah, sense. Yeah, you'd have to pay like cat's cradle like, ah, where's the knot? <laughs> <laughs> like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, if you do use the baggies, um, he just reminded me you should just get the smaller ones because, you know, your mom might get mad if oh, you're Filipino and like, why are you wasting it? <laughs> the snack ones that are like yeah. this? Yeah. That's a, so. yeah. You want a condensed the amount of, but mm -hmm. it's just plastic, but yeah, yeah, the smaller ones would work. But it works. Probably just for necklaces. Just necklaces, because you know, they're longer. Yeah. So my next tip is for those who like to smell good um, when you're traveling. Um, I usually, I've, I've showed this in a past like video, maybe my uh, cologne collection, but this is my Gucci Pour Home 2. 
Um, love the smell. I would want to smell good when I go traveling. So, um, this is a really bulky item, and I probably would not have room for this, and this is very heavy. And they probably wouldn't allow it, too. Yeah, yeah well, it's... actually, yeah, the, the TSA only allows, um, three fluid ounces on a flight, on a, and then they all have to be in a quart size bag. And this probably takes maybe half of a quart size bag, so this won't work for me, especially if I want to, um, take this on with me. Like, this is, you know, you don't want to put this on your check-in luggage sometimes because it's it's really expensive. And, and it might wanna... break. And it might break, yeah. yeah, along with your makeup and stuff. So um, instead of bringing this bulky item, uh, there are these little atomizer, um, perfume atomizers that I got from Nordstrom. Nordstrom for $5. They also sell comparable versions of this, like through Travelo and... Um, Sephora has some too. Sephora has them too, but they're a lot more expensive. I think they're like 12 or $15. But these at Nordstrom um, are $5. And maybe just to show you... Wait. Are but, they different scents? Yeah, I have to, I, these are actually pre-filled already because I went to San Francisco a few months ago and I used these and these were perfect. Like I can put this in my luggage and then if I needed to bring it out with me, if I went out or was going out for a long period of time, I wouldn't have to bring this big thing. I just bring like this little bullet and it was perfect. Um, so yeah, so basically it has a cap and then to put your item or your um, cologne inside, you take the bottom part and it has like a little hollow shell that uh, comes out and then you have this little um, container and to put the perfume or cologne in your container you just kind of twist it open and then this is kind of weird but you just aim the perfume inside the little vial and then you just start spraying I didn't have any problems with putting um, the cologne inside it just went straight down so if you're just careful and if um, you just aim the correct way. It won't. You won't make a mess. Like when you're peeing, okay? <laughs> because aim she, in the toilet. <laughs> because she can't aim. She always misses. No, whatever. Um, but yeah, there are other brands like the Travelo. It it has like a little, like a little insert here that you just put on top of the thing, and you just push down, and it just dispenses the product inside the the Travelo. But this is five. This is five dollars, and. I have that too, also. Way cheaper. Oh yeah, did we get it? ours together? Yeah, we bought it together. Yeah, they come in many different colors. Um, if find the link, I'll put it on the bottom. <laughs> Brain fart. <laughs> Brain fart. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So these are one of the great, like, best things that I can bring when traveling. So tip number two is. If you want to kill two birds with one stone, you can use this. It's a MAC paint pot, and it's supposed to be for like an eyeshadow base, but I use it also as a blush, and it's coral, so I don't know. Let's see this. I'll do a swatch. It might wash out. Oh, shoot. Sure. Oh, you can oh, kind of see it. Oh, that looks nice. You just have to kind of blend it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to... No, don't wear this color because it's going to be clown-like. You want to blend <laughs> it, okay? <laughs> Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I was trying to think, think of a clown name and call you that in the last two seconds. What's a clown name? Clownetta. I don't know. <laughs> Clownetta? I don't know. That's like a multi-purpose yeah. product. Mm -hmm. Another tip that I have is if you are a subscriber to Birchbox, Birchbox gives you deluxe size sample items and they are perfect for traveling in. So I got this in maybe two, two or three months ago. It's the um, Philosophy Purity cleanser and I, I used to use this um, a bit ago but this is actually really great to travel with because the regular bottle come is actually really big actually I got this Kiehl's um, oil-free <laughs> lotion <laughs> Kile Kile? Kile Kile means um, armpit in Tagalog okay. I got the <laughs> anyways you have the Kiehl's the Kile Kile <laughs> the Kile Kile this is the travel size that came with the birch box but this is the regular size it's a lot lot bigger than the travel size, and I probably won't use this entire thing when I go on my trip, so I would be more likely to bring this one because it takes less room and it's smaller. And if I lose it, I only lose this much. So, um, yeah, bring sample size items. You can also, if you go to Sephora or whatever, and if they give you samples of your th of like products that you already use, take that with you because it'll reduce the amount of clutter and amount of things that you bring in your luggage. Okay, so my last tip is to if you use eyeshadow like me. Um, eh, <laughs> eh, <laughs> that's not a black eye? 
No. Oh. <laughs> um, and you want to remove them. You know how you use that? Well, I use the Neutrogena one. It's like the oil-free one. You have to shake it. It's in that big tube. It's a hassle to bring that. Plus, it's liquid on the plane. So I, I just got these yesterday, actually. Um, I haven't tried this one out yet, but I tried the other one. But um, they work pretty well. I got them at Nordstrom Rack. It's only four forty-seven, and there's sixty-five of them. So I mean, you can use as much as you want whenever you want to. So I recommend them. So my last tip, and we were talking about this earlier, is when you're packing your luggage and you have like things that you fold um, to reduce the amount of wrinkles. I've been told that if you roll it up like this and you put like it in your dog. like a hot dog or a burrito, burrito. <laughs> you put them inside um, and you like, go on your flight whatever and then you come back it you're less likely to have a, a lot of wrinkles as if like it was flat and then a lot of the weight was put on it so yeah and that tip kind of goes with another tip of mine is if you bring shoes like this or just any shoes that have some space inside I tend to like to put things in here to keep the shape of the shoe I know that sometimes when I travel and I just bring my shoe before, when I didn't do this, I would put this in the um, the luggage, and then I get out on my 10-hour flight, and then all of a sudden, my shoe's like sunk like this. It's really bad, and I don't like how my shoe looks like. So if you put things in here, you kind of... Um, you have a smelly shirt. <laughs> no, my feet smell like roses. I don't know how <laughs> yours smells like. Mine are clean, okay? So you... Take one item and you put it in here, and that's one less thing that you have to put outside of, um, or like one less thing that you put out in the luggage, and you keep the shape of your shoe, and that's great. I usually put either t-shirts, um, mostly I put socks because duh, like you put your socks in there anyways in the regular basis. Mm -hmm. um, underwear, she probably puts Ew. her thongs no. or g-strings. No, <laughs> no, my mom is watching. <laughs> <laughs> Wear <Or> granny panties. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Don't you like how I conveniently like match the shirt to my With shoe? shoe? So there's pink, white, and, and, and coral, and then pink and lo and behold, he is wearing pink as well. Ah, get him! <laughs> and I'm wearing dark blue because I'm a boy. <laughs> if I were a boy. <laughs> so um, those are our tips, and I guess maybe some last tips just in general for traveling. Your passport is really important, so you don't want to take it everywhere you go. So if you're staying in a hotel, leave it in the safe and uh, before you leave for your trip, scan a copy of your passport um, just to keep with you so that you know that the, other, the real passport's safe and you still have mm -hmm. the copy with you so that just in case you're needing to get ID'd overseas, you still have it. Bring a comfy pillow for your neck. Oh yeah, I yeah. hate those. We're, we're gonna be oh, going God. on really long flights. 16 hours, right? Wait, are you with Korean Air? Korean Air, yeah. I'm going to Asiana and I've stayed with Asiana before and they're great. But, oh my God, it's a long flight. It's not gonna be fun. Yeah. I'm but at least with Korean Air, they have plugs so you can keep oh, your, yeah. your thing charged. Oh yeah, um, for things like converters, and if you're staying in a hotel, most hotels will provide that for you. Um, so, I have this just in case because I go to Hong Kong quite a bit. It's a converter for, it's an, it's an adapter for the Hong Kong plug. So this is the Hong Kong plug right here. It's a little bit uh, wider. And then you just stick your regular um, American. Stick or it in. Stick it in there. <laughs> also, make sure that your products that you're using are compatible with the voltage of the wall. Mm -hmm. I brought um, a shaver to Hong Kong once, and I thought that it, I thought it had like the c converter for the voltage. It didn't, so it fried it. Like you, you kind of get the same thing for when you plug in flat irons and you plug in your blow dryer in um, non-compatible um, electricity. So, for example, I have this. It's my MacBook Pro. Um, uh, charger. Charger. Mm -hmm. This little block here, I've always wondered what it was. It's actually a converter. It'll convert um, 240 volts into 110 volts. Or the, the it'll convert 240 volts, which is um, usually international voltages, to the correct voltage for my laptop. So this is important. Um, I've been told that the Clarisonic um, has that too when you're charging and we both have the Clarisonic mm -hmm. Mia and we're both going to bring ours with us and um, those ones are I've been reading are compatible with um, different voltages of different countries so all you need is your con your adapter and yeah you're probably going to see 
her in another video when we're in the Philippines. We're probably going to be there on... I'm going to be there from the 10th to the 13th. <coughs> and her birthday is on the 12th, so we're going to be partying in Makati yeah. in the Philippines. That's where we're going to be. So <laughs> Look we're, for us. We're, we're out there. <laughs> yeah. Hi. We're probably going to do um, a haul video in the Philippines. Um, maybe we'll see, like... Great Hills in the background, if you know mm -hmm. where Philippines is. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, leave in the com comment box below. And I hope you find these tips helpful, and we'll talk to you later. Dang, 17 minutes? Oh, wow. We'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye.